You know, changing up your home decor can be done with a quick trip to the dollar store. That's right. I found this beautiful centerpiece that you actually can change out every season with some really unlikely items from the Dollar Tree. Like that. Like, okay, we have Hot Wheels racetracks. I've passed these a million times because my son always wants them when we go. Mm. And um, I'm like, okay, no, we don't really need those, right? But I, I do need these. Now you do. I do need these, because we're gonna make an arched lantern, you guys. We're gonna take this and this and these and make something that comes out like this. Pretty. Right? Yeah. Even you said it. it's pretty. Like, so here's what you need. So you need to go ahead and grab one of these pictures right here. So you see all these pictures at the Dollar Tree all the time. They have all these sayings on them. Well, if you flip them over, they actually have about an a inch, a half inch lip on them. Yeah, they're pretty sturdy. They're pretty sturdy. That's what becomes the base of this. You need one set of racetracks. They come two in a pack. Okay. So one's another racetrack. So we can go ahead and do that. You need some small wooden blocks. You don't have to have the small wooden blocks, but I put them up underneath it to raise it off the, off the ground a little yeah. bit. You could, you could do it without. You could. Hot glue gun, your rope, a candle holder for the center, spray paint I already had. Now, here's the deal. Spray paint is kind of scarce right, uh, scarce right now, mm -hmm. but you can go ahead and use acrylic paint that maybe you find at the Dollar Tree. Something like that will work just fine. Okay? Anything that's going to stick to plastic. Because you're not going to put this outside. No, yeah, anything that'll indoors. stick to plastic. Mm -hmm. And then we need some little items to go ahead and put on the inside. And then I came up with some variation. Because when you make, you see these little lanterns out um, yeah. in the store, they have like a little point on the top of them. Sure. I did this by simply grabbing these small glass jars and styrofoam balls, and then I painted them. But let's walk you through the process. So, Todd, you, you're going to be my guinea pig on this. So, okay. I started crafting. I put this together other than spray paint. This portion of this was in less than five minutes. Okay, well. Can't promise you that. But okay, put, put, put but here we work. go. So here you go. So you have this. What we need to do is we need to put the little squares on the Got bottom. It. Got it. So Got you want to go ahead and do that. So I put two on each corner, but then you have to make sure they're going in the same direction all the way around. Yeah. I accidentally didn't, didn't do it do right that. the first time. Okay. So right now, so we took our picture frame, right? And you'll you'll be like, why aren't you not, why aren't you painting this first? Because you kind of want everything to be the same color anyway. Sure. So Todd has one on each corner. Sure do. Right? So you're not going to see go. the words on this. Feel free to paint the underside of it, but it's the underside of it. So if you don't want to waste paint, don't worry about it. Legs. So there's your, there's, you got legs. Hmm, thanks. There, yes, there you go. So there is that. So now we need to go ahead and cut our racetrack open. I know some little boy somewhere, or a girl somewhere is going to be crying like, why is she doing why, that to my racetrack? Why race is she ruining my racetrack? Two track. for a dollar, you guys. These little, these little connectors. I used to have these when I was a kid. Yeah. All right, so there so, you go. What's going to happen is you're going to want it to go one in each corner. And you'll notice that with just a, see, it kind of stays by itself. I like that. So you can put some hot glue in the front of it. You I got actually it. kind of pulled it away from the wall sure. and put a little hot glue in the back part you of it. got it. it. I'm so on there's it. that. I mean, that come side, on, are you kidding side. me? Like, this is so cute. And the good thing is you could swap out the fall decor with uh, Christmas decor. You know, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, all the holidays, or just put some nice natural flowers. So you got that one in there. Easy. It's going to kind of stay in place. Mm -hmm. Then you need one to flip over and go over to the other corner. Gotcha. There you go. See? What I did See? There? Yeah. So, so easy, easy, guys. So easy, even a Todd can do it. And you can probably make this for less than $10. My husband said, why didn't you just buy it? And I said, because that's not the way the craft corner operates, Rob. <laughs> that's not how we do things. And then he rolled his eyes, I'm sure, because I get a lot of eye rolls in my house. It's fine. <laughs> you don't seem bothered by it at I'm really, all. I'm, I'm really not. Can you tell? <laughs> Just want to mention that on live television. Rob, We're 24 years watching. into this relationship. I think. <laughs> yeah, we can. We got this. Cut out the eye rolls. All right. So you got that put together. So the big thing now, you can spray paint this. Here's the deal. If you want to spray paint it black. You can then spray paint it white and then take a little sandpaper and then what you'll have will happen is a little bit of the black will kind of show up underneath uh, it yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's cool. So once we have this together, you take it outside, you spray paint it really good, right? But we need a top for this. We need like a little center decor thing, I right? I have an idea. Bing. Bing. So what I they bulb? had these little tiny jars, mm -hmm. and then they had these little styrofoam balls. I hot glued it together, mm -hmm. and then, and spray then painted. part of the spray paint party. Here's a fun touch to all this. So let's fast forward to this one right here. Got it. Rope. They sell this in a bundle. So you see a lot of these lanterns and they have rope around the edge. So simply what I did mm -hmm. is I kind of pre-measured it, took some spray paint, lined it. This one flips underneath here, kind of slid it under. Sure. Put it in place. And I've seen tape too. They sell like thin, like one inch tape that yep. would go inside this truck Absolutely. with designs on so it. So if you want to put a little bit of uh, hot glue right there, sure. we'll start getting this rope on there. Gotcha. And then what you do is you take your little candle holder. It's very important to point out, you guys, that you do not use real candles. 
Yeah, this okay? is plastic. This is for those uh, battery operated. Can you line oh, it up? Keep on going. This is for you the battery it. operated candles, you guys. You do not want to use real candles. Okay, did I just pull that rope out of there? A little bit. I'll hold it for you. Okay. There you go. I got you. So there you go. Now what you can do, they have these cute little little candle holders like this. You can get those um, battery operated larger candles too. Set that inside there. You can go ahead and put your little fall leaves in there. Kind of spread that around like little fall leaves. You can put some pumpkins in there. <laughs> Done. Nice job, Leanne. We'll be right back. <laughs>